Well, after plenty of pre-match anticipation, the wait is finally over. My name is Derek Ray. I'm joined by Stuart Robson in the commentary box, and we're just seconds away from kickoff in what promises to be a spectacular final. It's Real Betis taking on Valencia. The instructions will have been clear from the managers, Derek. Stick to the game plan. Don't take risks in your defending third and embrace the occasion. Don't be frightened of it. What a game this should be. And the match begins. Well, here's the Betis starting 11. Rui da Silva begins between the posts. Victor Ruiz plays alongside Bartra in central defence. Canales plays with Joaquin on the flanks. And the central striker is Borja Iglesias. Nabil Fekir. And it's with Rodriguez. Joaquin. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. And here's the lineup for Valencia. Jasper Sillison is the goalkeeper. Daniel Vaz plays with Denis Cheryshev in the wide positions. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Borja Iglesias. And with it, Joaquin. It looks promising. Joaquin. Guardado. Now Guardado with it. Joaquin. Can he play it in? Well, here we can see it again, and no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tighter here, deal with the danger, otherwise that's the outcome. Not good enough defensively. And the action underway again. The onus is on Valencia to find a response now. Uros Racic. Cherishev. Racic. Soler. And Valencia in a position of menace. And he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Rodriguez. And providing width. Crossing opportunity. Corner kick awarded. And let's see if this will help them add to their lead. Who can they pick out? Just far too close to the goalkeeper. Maximiliano Gomez. And Soler. Bracic. And Gomez with it. Cheryshev. Now showing excellent judgment to intercept. Rosano Gerdes, Gomez, it's a perfect challenge. Andres Guardado, 
Now Canales. Borja Iglesias. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Now let's see what they can do here. Fekir. And the referee has given them a corner. And there's the delivery. Well, he couldn't get the header on the target, but robust defending. Fekia. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, but I think the keeper has made a mistake here. While it's a decent finish, it shouldn't go in at that near post. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. And the match begins. So back in business, and Valencia's difficulties were there for all to see in the first half. How do they respond now? Daniel Vass. And a throw in forthcoming. Alex Moreno. It's with William Carvalho. Borja Iglesias. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw in. Canales. Andres Guardado. On to Iglesias. William Carvalho. And still looking for space. Oh, magnificent from the keeper. Fantastic stop. An attack full of promise. Will it be? And still danger here. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Well, what a brilliant save that was. I can't believe he's kept that one out. Gonzalo Getsch could play it in. Cherishev. Gomez. And return to Carlos Soler. And the keeper flings himself at the ball. Delivering it. Excellent block. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. It looks promising. Well, he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. Valencia pushing forward with options available. Vass. 
And now Carlos Soler. Cherishev. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. William Carvalho. 20 minutes to go in this one. Not the pass he had in mind. Omar Alderete. Cherishev. Ratchic. Uros Ratchic. Gabriel. It's with Carlos Soler. Cherishev. Really good challenge. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Alex Moreno. No space for them here. Crossing possibilities. Back here! He's gone and found the net! Brilliant piece of finishing! Magnificent goal! Let's see this again, because the delivery into the box couldn't be any better. Played into just the right area, and from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. one-sided but they deserve the plaudits for the fact that they've kept going and going well five minutes remaining but you just feel this is over already Soler smuggled away Soler superb block William Carvalho, chances on, and there it is, a goal, but will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at their best. Well, you have to ask, where's the defending? The keeper is completely exposed, but he still had to finish it, and he did it really well. It's a good goal. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance at a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment.
full marks to the entire team and now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy they've been brilliant in this competition and so have the fans they've really got behind their team they've played a big part in this win just look at those faces in the crowd great stuff they're really a match made in heaven between players and fans and these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time